Just to refresh, uh, distance equals rate times time. You can flip that equation over, rate times time equals distance, and we're going to be using that formula in this story problem. So let's get right into it. Uh, one plane leaves the airport heading east at 600 miles per hour, and that's at noon. Then a second plane leaves the same airport an hour later heading west. Okay, that's the opposite direction at 400 miles per hour, so a little bit slower. At what time are the planes 2,100 miles apart? So these are the kind of problems that uh, students joke about years later. Remember that math class where the two planes were, and we had to figure out how long it took, and okay, everybody gets a kick out of that. But I'm gonna show you how to understand these problems and make them very simple so you can solve them, and even years later, you'll remember how to do this. So the first thing is, you wanna just draw a diagram. Okay, one plane is going this direction, one plane is going that direction, right? And obviously, at a certain point, they're gonna be 2,100 miles apart. 2,100. One might be traveling further than the other one, no problem. We're just going to add up the two distances together to get the total distance of 2,100. But I like to organize my information in a chart like this, rate times time equals distance. So the first plane, it's traveling at 600 miles per hour for t hours. So you can see it travels a distance of 600 t. So we're just going to write that here, 600 t. Over here, plane two is traveling at 400 miles per hour, a little bit slower, and on top of moving slower, it actually left an hour later. So the time it's been traveling is t minus one. And if we go ahead and multiply these together, we get 400 t minus 400. So I'm just gonna put that distance here, 400 t minus 400. Now, if you add these two distances together, you get the total distance of 2,100. So that's what we're gonna do now. If I add these together, I get 1,000t, okay, minus 400 equals 2,100. I'm going to add the 400 to the other side, so we're just doing some basic math here, okay. And we're going to divide by 1,000, both sides. And so that gives us, oops, divide by 1,000, that gives us a time of 2.5 hours, right. Now, 2.5 hours, that's what the chart uh, comes in handy. You go back to the chart, you say 2.5 hours, that's for when plane one left, right? So that was from when it was noon, okay, so it was two and a half hours later. So this would be 2.30, okay, whatever that time is where the airport is, where they've left from. So it'd be 2.30 there, okay. now. Obviously